great thou art. O Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the works thou hands have made, I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe displayed. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art. How great thou art, then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, with your and to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins and ask for God's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I've done and in what I've failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, 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 Christ have Let us pray. Gracious to grant to your church, O merciful God, that gathered by the Holy Spirit, she may be devoted to you with all her heart and united in purity of intent. Grant this prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. At Miletus, Paul spoke to the presbyters of the church of Ephesus. 
Keep watch over yourselves and over the whole flock of which the Holy Spirit has appointed you overseers, in which you tend the church of God that he acquired with his own blood. I know that after my departure, savage wolves will come among you, and they will not spare the flock. And from your own group, men will come forward, perverting the truth, to draw the disciples away after them. So be vigilant, and remember that for three years, night and day, I unceasingly admonished each of you with tears. And now I commend you to God, and to that gracious word of his that can build you up and give you the inheritance among all who are consecrated. I have never wanted anyone's silver or gold or clothing. You know very well that these hands have served my needs and my companions. In every way I have shown that by hard work of that sort, we must help the weak and keep in mind the words of the Lord Jesus who himself said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. When he had finished speaking, he knelt down and prayed with them all. They were all weeping loudly as they threw their arms around Paul and kissed him, for they were deeply distressed that he had said that they would never see his face again. Then they escorted him to the ship. The word of the Lord. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. of the earth. Show forth, O God, your power, the power, O God, with which you took our part. For your temple in Jerusalem, let the kings bring you gifts. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. You kingdoms of God, sing to God. You kingdoms of the earth, sing to God. Chant praise to the Lord who rides on the heights of the ancient heavens. Behold, his voice resounds, the voice of power. Confess the power of God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Over Israel is his majesty. His power is in the skies. Awesome in his sanctuary is God, the God of Israel. He gives power and strength to his people. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. from the Holy Gospel according to John. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, Holy Father, keep them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one, just as we are one. When I was with them, I protected them in your name that you gave me, and I guarded them, and none of them was lost, except the son of destruction, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you. I speak this in the world, so that they may share my joy completely. I gave them your word, and the world hated them, because they do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, 
but that you keep them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. Consecrate them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, so I send them into the world. And I consecrate myself for them so that they also may be consecrated in truth. The Gospel of the Lord. We hear the last words of two important people in our lives as Christians. One is St. Paul, the other one is our Lord Jesus Christ. St. Paul was bidding farewell, or they bidding farewell to him by one of the communities of Christians and he had told them they would never see his face again because he knew that the time was coming and was drawing near for him that he was going to be killed because of the word of God. But the prayer that he gave is very powerful. First of all, he instructed them that they should be aware of the wolves that are going to attack them. He wanted them that they remember what he taught them, and to keep faithful to the word that they received from him. But he also used one important thing that uh, we have to understand. He said, these people are going to bring all kinds of things in your community. They are not just from outside. There will be also some people within the community who pervade the truth so that they misdirect everyone into a different uh, direction. So St. Paul was concerned about the truth, and the truth was the word of God that he gave to them, and he wanted them to keep this word, and he wanted them to always care for the flock of our Lord Jesus Christ. He prayed with them that the word of God may continue. Our Lord Jesus Christ also prayed And this prayer, they say, it was after the Last Supper. He was concerned of his apostles and the disciples in this world. And even in his prayer, he talked about the truth. Consecrate them in the truth. Your word is truth. This is very important even in our time. What is the truth? Just like Pilate asked Jesus, and what is the truth? We are leaving the world where it is becoming very difficult about this truth because people, we are becoming in the life of individualism or relativism where the truth matters only to me. What is true for me is not true for you. So what is the truth? And we are seeing even leaderships everywhere. They are not telling the truth. Some they do, some they pervade it and it's bring a lot of confusion. That's why both Paul and our Lord Jesus Christ, they prayed for the truth, consecrate them in the truth. You and I, we know what is the truth is the word of God. Everything that comes from God is the truth, and that's the way we have to live our lives. That's what we have to preach. And Jesus is saying, let them be one, just as we are one. And that's very important also to remember That is the mission why he came here on earth, to bring us one. But where there is no truth, there is no oneness. Where there is no truth, there is division, there is mistrust. So the truth brings people together. And that is our mission today, that everything that we do, let's do them in the truth of the word of God. Let's help people to come together. There is so much happening in in our communities, in our world today, that is dividing people, and mostly it's the lies. People are bringing those lies, and lies sometimes, they go so fast, and it's very difficult to start bringing people back when lies have gone so much and influenced the life of the people. So consecrate them in the truth. You and I, we have been consecrated in the truth. Let's live by the truth. But like Christ knows, the world will not know us. When you leave the truth today, the world 
who look at you in a different way because the world is going in a different direction. But Christ is telling us you do not belong to the world, even though we are in the world. The world has its own influence, but our influence should come from the truth of God, his word. That is our life. So we have to continue doing what is right, to continue saying what is the truth from God. Even when we are going to face challenges and opposition, we have to stand for that. This prayer is very powerful. Consecrate them in the truth. My dear sisters and brothers, at the Last Supper, Jesus prayed for his disciples, asking the Father to protect them from the evil one. Through him, we present our prayers and petitions to God. May each of us, baptized into Christ, always be true to the Father's name and be faithful to the truth. We pray to the Lord. May the joy of Christ be in the heart of every Christian as we pray and work for that full and visible unity, which is the will of Christ, we pray to the Lord. May our Catholic Church and other religions dialogue be built upon all that we hold in common in our faith and seek better understanding of what separates us, we pray to the Lord. May the need for energy in the world at this time bring about investment in renewable energy so that the hope of Pope Francis for a cleaner and more sustainable world can be achieved, we pray to the Lord. Lord May Catholics and all Christians around the world be united in prayer with Mary, health of the sick, as we seek the mercy of God upon all struggle in this pandemic, we pray to the Lord. Lord Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Almighty God, we acknowledge your power, which has given us life, raised to glory your only Son, and bless us with faith in him. Unite us and make us holy through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of man's hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of man's hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. <clears throat> Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate as our dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation 
always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended to the highest heavens, as the angels gazed in wonder, mediator between God and humans, judge of the world and Lord of hosts. He ascended not to distance himself from a lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together and handing him of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna, Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, until you come, until you come, until you come again. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, until you come, until you come, until you come. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring out the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, who are pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co heirs to eternal life and may present and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracious grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we are with the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and the gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but on say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
or to live the truth of the word of God, we have to allow him to be uh, that we become his sanctuary. Only when we become the sanctuary of the Lord, the truth will come out of us and we will always live by that truth. Let us pray. May our partaking of this divine sacrament, O Lord, constantly increase your grace within us and by cleansing us with his power, make us always ready to receive so great a gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in the peace and love of Christ. The Mass is ended. We end Mass by singing, I have decided to follow Jesus. 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 No turning back. No turning back. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided. Follow